Hi, Kathy. Hello. Thank you so much for um, being interviewed by Promoter Magazine. You're welcome. Um, and you're very welcome. This is wonderful. You just recently um, celebrated your 45th mm -hmm. birthday. You yes. look beautiful. Oh, what did you do? You. Well, I finished my research project. It's very, for me, I had to get it done for college. I haven't officially celebrated it yet. Okay. Um, because I was just in the middle of finish off, finishing off my last project for college, and that was very important okay. to do. So to I use a bookworm at home, just... If that's what it was called, that's what you have to do, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I wanted to get the best mark. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> that's really, really good. That's great. Okay, that's fab. And, you know, obviously you're going to college now mm. with the intention of going on to university, which is just I've incredible. finished being to college, going you've been, to college. you finished yeah. college, so you're going... Is it, does that lead on to university Yes, now? it's on September the 20th. That's incredible. And is that a three-year BA or what Three-year BA. I in... had it uh, in English and drama. Oh, wonderful. And so I had the opportunity to do an MA okay. in Goldsmiths. But um, I just thought, no, I want three years because I want to be able to leave my options open. If you have a BA, mm -hmm. you can teach if you want to. Absolutely. And in English or drama. Yeah. And uh, so I thought that that was the idea. Can you see yourself teaching? Uh, yeah, I can. Um, but brilliant. you know, it's the it's the marking the homework books. Self um, doing lots of other things. I'd love to make a film. I think you know, but you can't do everything. No, can you, you you can't. I mean, no? the time is just crazy. <laughs> I know, I know. You you've got to fit it you in. Try. Some, like, you can try, of course. Mm. I mean, have you started writing anything for yourself or? thinking about producing material uh -huh. how's that going i did it on the course okay well, i can't wait to start again um i miss i miss writing but i've been getting my life up together about moving because i'm moving oh, right. uh, to to university so mm -hmm. the big sort of preparation for that but Absolutely. i can't wait to become getting artistic again i love it Good. it's in my blood you know and then um, I was. I loved the people's work in college as well. What they did. I mean, it was wonderful to see how creative people were mm -hmm. from day one. Yeah. Um. But what they, they they decided not to do that. Some of them, and that's okay. fine too. They took a different path, fine. and some people didn't think their work was good enough. And it was like, what are you sa saying? This is great, you know. And but I think that's what it's about, isn't it? It's about, um, that's why not everyone can do it, because it's about self-belief. Self-belief, but also focus, if you mm. want to focus mm -hmm. on that. Mm. People made choices. They didn't want that's went into work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what, gave, what made you take that decision at that time? Because, we, because we weren't being taught at college. Our tutors weren't coming in and we were left alone. Okay. And um, so I wasn't being stimulated. Mm. We were initially and then I was part of the youth theatre in Amer in, in Liverpool mm -hmm. and apart from that there was the opportunity scheme, the YOP schemes, which were before your time. And um, that offered me a challenge. So I went on a YOP scheme actually. I didn't go into work. I went okay. on a YOP scheme. Mm -hmm. We weren't being taught at college, they weren't coming in. So the, we were what, left what, so you were left to your own devices mm -hmm. and you decided to go into work. What field did yop, you go into? Yop, yop. Youth theatre. Theatre. Theatre at Rathbone Theatre Workshop okay. in Liverpool. And that's where it all kind of started for you. It started in college. Mm -hmm. The buzz, the buzz, the bug started in college, excuse mm -hmm. me. Um, but you know, I, I thought, well, we're coming in. We're not being taught, we're on our own. What was got we were left to our own devices and um, that college has changed now okay. thankfully and it's won an award oh. but i thought well i need to get out the youth opportunity scheme we went there it was vibrant we went, there were elders you know people always need elders of to course. lead you know to guide them mm -hmm. you know because we were on our own a lot of the time yeah. so i went on to the bathroom theater workshop and we learned all about um different areas of theater i built a set um helped to build a set, knock the nails, and we did improvisation classes in the morning. We got paid £25 a week for this, and oh. I just felt, I, felt, I didn't even want the money at the end of the week. Wow. It was like, oh, right, so we get paid for this. It was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And that was yeah, in Liverpool, In right? Liverpool for a year. And I did my first play, lead role, in the Unity Theatre. And, um, you know, people praised me and gave me com com confidence and 
But even just doing my first play at college got the bug going because mm. we did the House of Bernardo Alba and ah, what character uh, did you play? Um, Poncia. Okay. Um, they could. I mean, Liverpool was very boring, and they offered some. Uh, you know, they offered imagination and travel because we've got a dictionary and there was a map in the back with many maps of the mm. world in the back mm -hmm. and of course because my father lived abroad 5,000 miles away yeah. the world was an important place oh. Trinidad 1,500 I don't know how, how many miles it is away but when you've got a, a father that does live away the world is suddenly your world is as a part of you that is far away mm -hmm. so it helps you kind of like um, think about the world yeah, when course. when a relative of yours or an important one is is far away was he away throughout the whole most of your of child, it, yeah. most of your childhood mm -hmm. do you think that affected you off. in any way it did but on and off i mean he came you know he just paid us a visit and it was a very unclarified relationship that they had mm -hmm. you know he was more of a, a visitor okay. not a father um uh, and a renowned visitor at that. People didn't expect very much of me because I came from a broken home. Do so, you, do you think that was coupled with the fact that you're mixed race, or in some eyes black, or how did that whole situation work? Mm. Well, mm. I, yeah, the two of the things being from a broken home and being black, not necessarily mixed race. That people did not expect very much from me. You know, I was called nigger as a child, and, and that's um, in Liverpool. Yeah, and mm. my mum was called a nigger lover, so we were undermined and humiliated from a very young age. Mm. But with me, what happened was it just encouraged me to fight back. But you I, I said to, said to, was said to me recently by an actor, Mark McGann, we were doing a poetry thing together in Liverpool and he read it really well in the rehearsal and in the dressing room he came, I came back and I went and of course you know I wished I could be as good as him and I went that was absolutely great, it was fantastic and he said oh really, he said well you know, well I, you know I don't know whether I'll be able to produce that in the performance, it was a kind of thing of don't put too much expectation on me. Why? And I've never heard a person say that to me. And he said, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to live up to that. You know, because once you say someone's great, they feel they have to be great again. Or greater. Yeah, and mm. it was, it was, it kind of like let me off the hook myself. I think when someone says that to you, you benefit from it as well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I thought, wow, you Ooh, know. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah I'll but I didn't sit that. back, but I just thought, oh, great he's kind of let himself off the hook mm. here as well you know because expectations because i think or the role in mona lisa mm. what was it like working with um bob hoskins and sir michael Green? well they were very kind because you were a young actress mm. they were very kind and informative and just very gracious mm. you know um and he I learnt a lot from them being emotional. They they um they put a lot of emotions into their work, and um, that's how I learnt how to be emotional in my work. It was mm. the first job I learnt how to be emotional in. Okay. And uh, before that, it was all a bit showtime and razzmatazz, and <laughs> sort of you know presentation and just fun. And well, it was fun, but also pretend emotion and this mm. is, I, I had to really feel it in that film. Mm. Yes. Famous all my all my adult life. Mm -hmm. um, I think I don't know how to be it very well some days because it's an immense responsibility. People want you to be approachable and nice all the time and you know there's a profession you know they, they do I find it it's a, it's, a, it's a responsibility that I find very difficult to maintain. Mm -hmm. um.